Yes. Well, uh, we just check, check our slide. Yeah, sorry. Hi, Thomas. Could I share our screen? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, at least finish your sharing. Thank you. Does everyone see my screen? Yes. Okay. Okay, for now I will introduce our company in, in Chinese. So, first, uh, 大家好,我们是世纪生物科技股份有限公司。那我們是這個產品線的代理商那首先我們要建議我們公司一個簡單的基本介紹那首先我們先介紹我們的公司的背景那我們的公司是創立於包含中国、欧洲、美国等等那我们的创始人是成员崇博士那他目前是中研院的院士那在2004年、2005年 2005年我们创建了世纪生物科技那之后呢我们在后续呢比较重要的一些主要重要的里程碑呢包含那目前我们公司拥有的专利设计与认证包含就是中研院的全球受权药物不良反应等专利那也得到了新加坡以及澳洲等等的一些众多国家的基因检测专利那以下这些都是我们公司在获得一些像TFDA等等的认证 那接着呢，在我们不单单只有在台湾得到一些呃TFDA的认证，在其他国际呢也有得到呃IVD产产品的上市许可，包含欧盟、新加坡、中国等等。那目前呢，我们整个全球合作的服务呢，包含有美国、
。那首那接着呢，我们会介绍就是呢，呃 ，TENS 的部分。那 TENS 的部分呢，就是包含。哦，好，就是包含，这是以下就是我们所有复合，哎，呃，整个的应用的流程，还有及我们带，呃，整个的产品的流程。那再来就是 Swift 的,的部分，那 Swift 的部分就是整个 Library 建库的部分，那以及我们的 Lesson Gen， 就是我们整个，呃，整个 RNA 建库的流程，包含这些这些以上的这些产品。那这是我们公司的以下的简单的介绍。那剩下今天我们会介呃介绍巴松的部分呢，就由我们的呃原厂来进行解说。嗯、呃，嗨，他们，嗨，他们。啊 ，Hello, here I am. Excuse me, I was yes. muted. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm finished. So it's your terms. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for a nice introduction. Uh, now. I'd like to start with my presentation. So let me share my screen. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> so good afternoon, everyone. Again, this is Thomas uh, Husera speaking from, from Subteacher. Uh, thank you. Thank you all for taking time today for our joint presentation with Farmigine, who has just become our distributor in Taiwan. And today, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about our company, about our background, and, and in the second part of my presentation, I would perform a quick demonstration of our tools for interpretation of NGS data for clinical purposes. <clears throat> so our company, Safiter, it's on the market since 2014. We are based in Switzerland and we are precision medicine and the bioinformatics company developing tools, uh, software tools for processing and interpretation of NGS data for clinical purposes, although we also serve research customers in certain cases. <coughs> um, there are many challenges <coughs> we are facing here when it comes to and bringing NGS technology to clinical practice. From our perspective, as a bioinformatics and precision medicine company, we are focusing on three challenges in particular. Challenge number one, the annotation data are fragmented and spread over many data resources. And so, <clears throat> and so the interpretation interpretation process we can we can we can see it as a a puzzle game right to get the complete picture we need to place all the pieces together in the right places uh, challenge number two our understanding gets better pretty much every day which means new findings new publications are coming out pretty much uh, every day and challenge number three is the lack or little standardization and consistency when it comes to the interpretation of uh, variation pathogenicity. <clears throat> and so in <clears throat> all in all, assessing a pathogenicity is a very, very time consuming and never ending process. So these are exactly the three reasons why uh, we have created Varsom. I believe some of you might have seen it before, Varsom it's free and open knowledge base for annotation purposes. <clears throat> Varsam aggregates and cross-references uh, annotation data resources. So currently, you can find on Varsam annotation data coming from over 70 data resources. Or in other words, this, is, this represents 70 pieces of the puzzle game. So on Varsam, you can find annotation data from GNOME-AD, from ClinVar, from uh, somatic data resources, COSMIC, CIVIC, PMKD, ICGC, expression profiles, uh, list of publications, obviously, clinical trials, drugs, annotation data for copy number variation, uh, clinically relevant data for genes, phenotypes, and diseases, and so on, and so on. Over 70 data resources integrated under one uh, knowledge base. On top of it, we keep the data on Varsam updated. 
and on top of it we implement guidelines for standardization of the interpretation process so for example on varsam you can find the interpretation of pathogenicity based on acmg acmg guidelines and now we are implementing guidelines for somatic interpretation such as amp and ccm or ASCO. Uh, Warsaw, it's not only about annotation data resources and bringing them together. It's also about you. It's also about the community around it. There, are, there is a community of over 250,000 users uh, using the platform every day. And so as a consequence of it, there is also a growing number of contributions flowing in from our global community in terms of applications, classifications, comments, or while some users even start in collaborations. In other words, there is a unique layer, unique layer of annotation data, which is nowhere else to be found, only on Warsaw. So this is the free platform. Now, on top of the free platform, we have developed <coughs> Warsaw Clinical, which is already a professional paid service for interpretation of NGS data starting from FASTQ or BCF all the way to the clinical report. Marsan Clinical is IBD certified, certified as an in vitro diagnostic medical device. So indeed it can be used in clinical settings. Our platform is also HIPAA compliant, which is very relevant for our US-based customers and uh, our company is also uh, GDPR compliant and we are certified with ISO for quality management for medical devices and now we are becoming certified also with ISO 27001 for information security and the data security. <clears throat> with Watson with Watson Clinical, you can process your NGS data in four steps. First, you shall upload your sequencing data to our servers. We have a number, number of de deployments available. For our European customers, we have our own physical server in Switzerland. For US-based customers, uh, we have a, a deployment on a, on a HIPAA, HIPAA compliant cloud on the West Coast in the US. And uh, we also run local local installations we can also install bar something make locally on your on your premises uh, with bar something nickel you can process any kind of ngs data uh, commercial gene panels such as for, me, for example from biosciences or custom gene panels in-house built gene panels exomes genomes it, it does not really matter as long as you sequence on Illumina or MGI. And so when it comes to the fast queue, you shall sequence either on Illumina or MGI. When it comes to the VCF, there are more options and you can upload any VCF file as long as it conforms to the standards for VCF files. So that can be a VCF file for Thermo Fisher, Ion Torrent, Fast Bio, and so on. Once you upload your data, you can run the pipeline. Once some clinical <clears throat> offers a wide range of pipelines covering uh, pretty much all the clinical use cases. We have pipelines for germline samples, somatic samples, for de novo variants in trios, for couples, for carrier risk screening, a pipeline for tumor, tumor and normal pairs, pipeline for uh, copy number variations, natural variation, including a pipeline for UMIS for a unique molecular identifiers, including detection of low frequency variants, typically found in somatic samples, for example. Uh, Arsene Clinic <coughs> uh, comes with a website interface. Everything runs on, on our server and you access it over the internet as if it was a regular website. So the platform is constantly updated and we take care of, of data security, data, uh, data protection, and we keep all the annotation data resources always up to date. And at the end, it, you may generate a clinical report, which can be fully customized to your needs. 
So you can basically you you need you you can set up your own template according to your own branding policy, and then you can also control the annotation data in the report. Here, I'd like to talk about what you know again what the challenge is. The challenge that does not lie in the primary and secondary part of the pipeline to do the read alignment, the variant point, variant, the variant discovery is relatively relatively simple. Now, the real challenge lies in the interpretation part of the pipeline, where you need to decide whether this is a pathogenic variant or not. And that's what we are specifically focusing on the interpretation part. And Marathon Pinnacle, it's not a replacement for in-house bioinformatics expertise. Marathon Pinnacle, it's a tool. It's a productivity tool which allows your bioinformaticians or your lab people work more productively and systematically and deliver your quality results quickly. And over time, you will see that you are, you can increase in the diagnostic yield for your patients. Uh, here is just a quick snapshot of the clients. Uh, as you can see, as a Swiss company, we have uh, quite a few clients in all the European countries, and we also do have a number of clients in the, in the global scale in the US as well as in, as in Asia, in Singapore, in South Korea, or in Hong Kong. <clears throat> From the pricing perspective, and there is no license or commitment while some clinical charges on a per sample basis and the price the price depends on the size the size of your sample so when it comes to the fast queue files the price depends on the number of megabases and when it comes to ecf the price depends on the number of variants but that's about it there are there is no commitment no license only sample fee. there are two ways how you can pay for Marson Clinical. Uh, the first option we call the stand alone solution. Stand alone solution of Marson Clinical, it's open for any kind of NGS data, gene panels, exomes, genomes, and we charge you on a monthly basis or quarterly basis, depending on the usage on the platform. Bundled solution, on the other hand, it's a form of prepayment which allows you to prepay a certain number of analyses belonging to a specific essay. So for example, here you can prepay, for example, 48 analyses of you know, SWIFT, Biosciences, 57G, PAN Cancer Panel, for example. So this is a form of prepayment. And as I mentioned before, we also uh, provide on-site or on-prep installations for large diagnostic centers. In Taiwan, uh, we have started collaboration with Pharmagene, who has become uh, our distributor. Pharmagene is very well familiarized with our tools, so uh, feel free to reach out to better or to fire from Pharmagene. Okay, so this is my this is my quick introduction. Now, in the second part of my presentation, I'd like to show you the user interface of our tools. In the meantime, uh, again, feel free to paste your questions in the Q and A section. So here you can see Varson free platform and uh, the knowledge base for annotation purposes. So here. You can see the results for a particular variant in a BRAP gene. Uh, I don't want to go too much into detail. However, I'd like to tell you a little, little bit more about the ACMG-based interpretation of pathogenicity. So, for example, here in this case, you can see that six criteria fired based on the evidence coming from all these 60 uh, annotation data resources. So, in other words, Warsam's implementation of ACMG guidelines, it's very, it's very solid and very robust. It's also very transparent because every criterion here is explained. It's, 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 
explained in a great detail in plain English why a uh, given criterion fired or did not fire. So I say something that allows you to review every particular criterion, every particular situation, and make your own judgment call based on your best knowledge uh, for the particular variant or for the particular patient. It's also flexible and it allows you to specify your preferred transcript which may affect the final classification. And you can also specify the strength of the evidence for every single criteria, again, in line with ACMG guidelines. So this is the cornerstone, cornerstone of Barson and Barson Clinical interpretation based on ACMG guidelines. And as I, I was saying before, we are now also implementing AMP, NCCN or, or ASCO guidelines for interpretation of somatic variation. On top of the free platform, uh, we have built Warsom, Warsom Clinical, which is a concrete solution for, for interpretation of NGS data from uh, FASTQ or VCF. So I don't want to go again too much into detail. To do a full demonstration takes an hour. However, I'd like to focus instead on the most important features or aspects of the platform. So first you shall upload your data. You can select your files directly from your computer and send it over the internet to our servers. And there is also API, application programming interface, available, allowing you to automate every step of the analysis. Well, once you upload your data, you can run the pipeline. So as you can see, we have a number of pipelines here, starting from FASTQ, from VCF, tumor, normal analysis, trios, uh, carrier risk for couples, uh, pipeline for copy number variation, structure variation, and so on. So let's say we are starting from FASTQ, either from Illumina or MGI. Uh, here you should specify several details, for example, whether it's a germline, whether it's a germline sample, somatic sample. Here you should specify the essay used for library, library preparation, so that can be any commercial essay, such as for, for say, Biosciences 56, 57G, for example or can be any any other custom gene panel if it's a custom gene panel uh, we need the bed file from you before you can start the analysis but in principle uh, we can process any kind of gene data uh, further you shall specify for example the reference genome whether it's ag19 or 38 and then on the left side you shall specify here for example the, the patient phenotypes and patient diseases in line with HPO terms with human phenotype ontology. So let's say, for example, here we can type into retinopathy term in line with HPO, and later uh, it allows you to prioritize variants based on these phenotypes. And then you can already start with the analysis. Uh, once the analysis is fully executed, you will get the results in the form of the variant table here. So here we can see an example of a whole genome with almost 5 million variants. Variants are sorted by pathogenicity according to the ACMG guidelines. For every single variant here you can see the variant type, ACMG classification, ACMG rules, AGVS term, the transcript, gene inheritance, uh, function, where it's coding, missense, splicing, variant, zygosity, population frequency, allelic balance, and coverage. So coverage, this is a link upon which, if you click on it, it takes you uh, to the JBrowse, where you can see the graphical representation of reads. IGV, it's also available as an option. Uh, around the variant table, you can see, you know, 
all the annotation data coming from all these 70 data resources. So here you can see the first set of tabs with ACMG criteria, the region browser, claim bar entries, cosmic entries, population frequencies, uh, somatic data resources, ICGC, GDC, clinically, clinically relevant data resources, expression profiles, in silico predictions, conservation scores, publications, and also in certain cases, contributions from our global community. On the right side, here you can see another set of annotation data uh, clinically, clinically relevant data, uh, transcripts, clinically relevant data for genes, for phenotypes and diseases, and so on. Now, here uh, you can see a custom classification. So, this is, this, this is, for example, a pathogenic variant. However, if you don't agree, with the default classification, you may reclassify it internally. You may rec reclassify it as a variant of uncertain significance, for example. Or you can set up a fully custom classification, such as variant important from a pharmacogenomics perspective or variant which needs to be discussed later. And then again, you can apply these custom classifications to your variants. And these custom classifications or reclassifications stay with the variant forever, unless you change it or remove it, which means whenever you upload a new sample with the same variant, you will see the same classification mark here. But this is what allows you to create over time your private database of classifications. The other thing, is the sample cross-referencing. So we link all your samples together on the variant level. So for example, this particular variant, you can see here, that it has been found so far three times in a heterozygous form in this analysis, in another home genome sample, and in another sample called test cryptic. But this is something that allows you, you know, to, co to compare your past cases with current cases compare allele balances, patient phenotypes, and over time, together with custom classifications, allow you to increase the diagnostic yield for your patients. Now, uh, filters, Marsan Clinical comes with uh, powerful, uh, powerful filtering capabilities. So on, the, on the left side here of the screen, you can see the first, first kind of filters called dynamic filters. So uh, with dynamic filters, you can easily filter out your variants based on number of criteria, based on ACMG, based on, where you can filter out based on population frequency, based on ClinVar, based on chromosomal position, pathogenicity, zygosity, function, there is five UTS, splicing, coding, upstream variant. You can set up a gene list and use it as a filter for your analysis. Call status, number of reads or analytic balance, and so on. So let's say we want to filter out only rare variants with a frequency less than 1%. So we are now setting up a filter set. A filter set may consist of several filters, such as allele frequency filter and the other filter for pathogenic and likely pathogenic variants. So once we, once we give it a name, we can apply it to our sample. As you can see, the filtering works really fast. We are working here with 5 million variants with full annotations. Uh, so based on the frequency here, you can see over 4.5 million variants uh, have been filtered out and based on pathogenicity, another 339,000 variants have been filtered out and we are left with only five variants in the variant table here. You can always deactivate certain filters or bring them, bring them up again or you can also modify 
the whole filter set here. And you can, for example, add additional filter based on BP5 criteria with a strong evidence. Now we have three filters and we are left with, with, with only one variant in the variant table. So the results update dynamically here, which is the reason why we call these filters a dynamic filter. And that's not all. Uh, one sample nickel comes with another type of filters called algorithmic filters. And so algorithmic filters are basically a little programs we build, we develop uh, specifically uh, for every customer uh, according to your, to your specific needs and workflows. So here you can see several common examples with algorithmic filters, for example, you can filter out uh, compound heterozygous variants, or you can perform segregation kind of analysis for multiple samples, extended families or cohorts. You can call de novo variants in trios or perform carrier risk for couples. The important thing here is that these algorithmic filters can be fully customized according to your needs. So you just need to tell us how exactly you want to filter out your variants and we implement it uh, specifically uh, for you. And then you can easily combine actually these algorithmic filters with dynamic filters. So for example, here you can see an exome trio and with 290,000 variants and within you can see a number of sub analyses. So there is a sub-analysis. Every sub-analysis corresponds to the results of an algorithmic filter. So there is a, for example, algorithmic filter for de novo variants in exome trio with 260 in de novo candidates. And then of course you can you can you can combine or you can lay over a dynamic filter. So now he, we, now we have here 260 variants, then the candidates in exome trio, and now we can filter out based on allele frequency, pathogenicity classification, or or CMG, a CMG criteria, for example. Now to filter, it's still deactivated. We can activate it now and see what we get. And so we are left now with only with only one variant which is de novo and also meets the criteria for population frequency and uh, the pathogenicity classification. Uh, Larson Clinical also comes with a number of quality control reports, QC reports, um, which are available under the analysis actions menu here. So for example, here you can access the basic QC report which summarizes the details of your sample and your analysis, summarization according to the coverage, variant classification, ACNG criteria, and so on. Uh, however, there are even more comprehensive QC reports, for example, the coding coverage report or regionalist coverage report. You can also download the BAM file, VCF file, and so on. Here, you can see the coding coding coverage report, oops. Oh, sorry, sorry, excuse me. So here you can see the coding coverage report, which is an Excel sheet and broken down by the gene in the first column here and by, by the sequencing depth. So here in this spreadsheet, you can, you can find, you know, the regions with a low coverage or regions which have been skipped altogether. And so that allows you to troubleshoot issues with sequencing or with uh, essay design. Um, now the last missing piece is the reporting. So once you uh, once you filter out your variants using dynamic and algorithmic filters, you can proceed 
and you can uh, generate a clinical report. So once you decide to report the variant, you select it for export. And then here on the left side, you can either download the list of variants in an Excel sheet, or you can generate a clinical report right on the platform. So as I was saying before, this is a kind of like an interactive, interactive reporting. You have a complete control over the report. Uh, first, you need to set up your template. So of course, you can upload your own logo. You can set up the header. You can use your own colors, fonts, and styles. The common elements can be translated into any language. The content itself, it's always in English because that's pulled down from uh, public data resources. However, the common elements can be translated into any language. And then you have also control over, over the data. So here, again, on the left side, you can see the list of widgets, the list of uh, annotation data pieces. So for example, here you can drag in the content area, and then you can drag in, for example, variant information, uh, in clinically, clinically relevant information for genes. Uh, and then you can also include, for example, the list of, list of clinical trials, a list of drugs, and at the end, a list of publications. So again, again, everything is fully editable. Here is the content area which allows you to provide your comment for the report. You can, again, also include pictures and tables. Here's the information for the variant, to AGV ester, uh, chromosomal position, intern number, zygosity, and so on. Uh, clinically, clinically relevant data for genes, phenotypes, and diseases. Uh, list of clinical trials, list of drugs, and list of references, list of publications. Everything is fully editable, so you can easily remove publications or add new ones here. And at the end, you can download it as a PDF file or as a doc file. So this uh, has been just a very quick introduction to Warson Clinical. Uh, Warson Clinical is a complete solution for, for, for processing and interpretation of NGS data. I've tried you know, to focus just on the very important aspects. Uh, I could talk much more about all the details, but for now, I think you shall have like a good, a good idea about what we are talking here about. Uh, Arson Clinical is clinically certified. It's certified as an IBD device, so it can be used in clinical settings. Uh, there is no license or commitment uh, instead, but some clinical charges on a per sample basis. Uh, the price depends on the number of variants in VCF or number of megabases in your fast queue. Uh, for prices, uh, feel free to reach out to PharmG, who is our distributor in your region. Uh, for now, thank you very much for your attention, and uh, I'm happy to take some questions if we have some. No questions. Peter, have I missed something important? Uh, no. Uh, um, you also distribute Swift Biosciences, right, Peter, in Taiwan. So um, Swift Biosciences, for example, it's our partner for for the bundle solution. Yeah. So uh, if you decide, you know, to you to, to adopt a Swift Biosciences technology, you can also ask at the same time for for Barson Clinical. In other words, you can ask for the bundled bundle solution, which is a complete solution. Which, which includes the library prep as well as Watson Clinical for data interpretation and reporting. So with that, uh, I would thank you again 
for your for your attention, Peter. Thank you for organizing this webinar. Uh, in case you have questions, feel free to reach out either to Farm Engine or to us directly. Uh, we could also set you up for a free trial period of Warsaw Clinical free of charge for 30 days uh, with five samples free of charge. So if you are curious you know, to learn more, please uh, just let us know. Uh, thank you very much again, and uh, and uh, bye bye for now. Thank you, Thomas.